Hey YouTube, my name is Meredith Rigdon and today come along with me while I talk to you about the pros and cons of living in Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. Traveler's Rest, South Carolina has become popular in recent years thanks to the growth of downtown and mostly in part thanks to the Prisma Health Swamp Rabbit Trail. When the Swamp Rabbit Trail was paved and came through downtown Traveler's Rest, it almost felt like the world discovered TR for the very first time. When you wander to Traveler's Rest on a Saturday or Sunday, you might find so many people here that you'll wonder why it's called a small town. That might be one of the cons of living in downtown Traveler's Rest, but being the optimist that I am, we can fight that with a bicycle. One of my favorite pros about TR is the Swamp Rabbit Trail. If you're frustrated with traffic and you don't want to deal with your car, if you're unhappy about gas prices, grab a bike. And in TR, you can pretty much go wherever you want to go. You can even hop on your bike from TR and get all the way to downtown Greenville. I live pretty close to Traveler's Rest and there are days when I bike commute for my meetings in downtown. It's an easy ride, it doesn't take a lot of effort, and I show up ready and refreshed from all the fresh air. TR is a great place to live and visit, but we have to consider all sides of it, right? So sometimes there's a downside to a city that's becoming super popular and that's gaining a lot of attention for both tourism and being a great place to live. One of the downsides of Traveler's Rest is that it's becoming harder to find exactly what you want and you might have to make some trade-offs with a great realtor and time on your side, you can probably find what you're looking for in Traveler's Rest because there are still some great options. But another con of living in Traveler's Rest is that prices have risen. I have clients who bought near Traveler's Rest as little as six years ago, and now their property value has almost doubled. That's huge equity for less than 10 years and it's a bonus for the homeowners and it's kind of not a bonus for buyers who are in the market now. So when you're considering Traveler's Rest for a place to live, be sure to weigh your options and make sure that where you buy and what you pay is right for you. One of the great things about Traveler's Rest is the amenities. You can basically never leave the area and you've got everything you need. There's plenty of local businesses, which are my favorite. We also have some national merchants. We now have a Starbucks. There's a great Walmart and you've got all of the shopping, all of the services, all of the local businesses that you could ever need are right here and you never have to leave. However, if you do want to leave and venture out, Traveler's Rest is close to downtown. Based on which side of town you're headed to and which route you take, you can get to downtown Greenville in as little as 15 minutes. I work downtown and I live close to Traveler's Rest and it's super easy for me to go back and forth and there's even multiple ways to get there so you're never stuck in traffic and you're never frustrated. When you're considering living in TR and you're looking at neighborhoods, you're gonna have a lot of choices. There are actually a lot of price points and there's a good variety of single family homes, town homes, and now there are even new apartment developments that we'll go check out and show you. You can make a great life in Traveler's Rest and it's a little more affordable than living in downtown Greenville and some of the other neighborhoods around Greenville. While I wouldn't say that Traveler's Rest is still a secret, I would say that not everyone has discovered it yet, so you'd still be making a great buy if you were to buy a Traveler's Rest. Every small town experiences growing pains. When people find out just how awesome that small town is, this one in particular has the best small town charm I think you'll find anywhere. This weekend, you can experience small town charm and Traveler's Rest, and you might just feel like you're in one of the sweetest lifetime movies you've ever experienced. There's the Traveler's Rest, Farmer's Market, Holiday Christmas Market, say that five times fast, where you'll see over a hundred vendors during the summer. That market happens every weekend, and it's a great place for local vendors, produce, everything you need. And again, that small town charm allows you to not have to go far to get everything you need. When everybody discovers a place like Traveler's Rest, 
it feels like everybody wants to move here. And while it's popular, it's certainly not overrun and it's certainly not painful to live in Traveler's Rest, but there are some adjustments and growing pains as the beautiful city goes through the changes of becoming a super desirable place to live. What I can assure you, because I know many of the local leaders here, is that most of them are actually from here and they care. They care about the history, they care about the charm, they care about the safety and the livability for everybody who's here. So even though you might experience some growing pains, I can assure you this is still a pretty awesome place to live. Recently, Greenville, just up the road from TR, was named America's best city for remote work. Why would anybody in TR care? Well, I do. I'm in TR and I care because I actually work remotely. When I'm not in my office or with a client, I'm working from home. And I can personally tell you that Traveler's Rest, I think might be even better than Greenville as a place for remote work. It's quiet. It's safe and I'm still super close to everything I need so I can stay productive and efficient for my day. So if you're considering remote work and looking for places to live, I would put Traveler's Rest pretty high on your list. Every area has pros and cons and when you're looking for your next place that you want to live or invest, you need to weigh them all. Traveler's Rest definitely has affordability proximity, amenities, and small town charm. And if you ask me, that outweighs the cons. While they are there, I think they're pretty minimal and I think this is a pretty amazing place to live. My name is Meredith Rigdon. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Drive and I would love to be your Traveler's Rest tour guide and help you figure out if this is the place for you. Give me a call. I'm at 864-884. 0473 and let's talk about the pros and cons of living in Traveler's Rest, South Carolina.